involved with the law in Hawaii, you get to know Judge Ezra. And so I uh, first learned about him and got to meet him when I was here on a sabbatical year. And we became pretty friendly then. And then since I've been lucky enough to be the dean, uh, I've worked closely with him. He was uh, one of the people who taught the longest at our law school, uh, 34 years, I think. Uh, started uh, teaching remedies and then has taught federal courts to a generation, really. And uh, there's nothing like learning about federal courts from a federal judge like Judge Ezra. He stands out among federal judges, and our students really have been blessed to have Judge Ezra. Well, I think he's set just a, a, an extraordinarily high standard for what it means to be a judge. Um, you know, uh, excellence in all the skills that go into judging, impeccably prepared, great legal knowledge, always fair, always listens to each side uh, in a case before making up his mind. Uh, respectful in the courtroom, but very much in control in the courtroom. So to me, uh, you know, he really set a standard for what it means to be a trial judge in Hawaii. Over the years, he's decided thousands of cases, um, and some of them of uh, extraordinary significance. So he's had uh, an incredible impact just on the life of our community through the cases he's decided, and then I think through his impact on people as well. I think his contribution to the Hawaii judiciary is twofold. One, he is, he's brave. He is not afraid to make a decision that he knows is going to upset people if he believes it's firmly grounded in the law and it's firmly grounded in what the circumstances judge, judges take into account warrant and require. And secondly, I think he's very grounded. He not only issues opinions and orders that are very grounded in the law and the legal precedent, but also in the traditions that we know here in Hawaii and that we're familiar with. His legal opinions, uh, they do pono. They draw on concepts of hanai. They draw on concepts that we really know and understand. And he makes that unique connection between the federal law and how it applies and relates to the Hawaii community and to the unique circumstances here in Hawaii. It's rare to find somebody of that stature who has that much passion and um, respect among the bar, but just the ability to connect with people one-on-one. -on -one. He really cares passionately about the quality of the bar in Hawaii, about maintaining its civility and professionalism, and his willingness to reach out to young lawyers and mentor them is really phenomenal. And in particular, over the years, I've worked with him on finding him excellent law clerks. Some of our very finest graduates have clerked for him, and he has in, um, embraced them as part of his family. And in particular for young women, he has made a dramatic difference in the lives of so many young women who are aspiring attorneys, either as practitioners or as law clerks. And he's uh, opened so many doors for, for attorneys in this town uh, and in this state. It's, it's really, truly remarkable. Yeah, there are a lot of judges who um, become self-important uh, when they have robes on. Uh, and Judge Ezra was someone who remained human and knew that the human contact was an important part of being a good judge. I think he also was and is a courageous judge, uh, certainly a hard-working judge with lots of cases, and he was traveling a lot uh, even while he was sitting here uh, in some very complex cases uh, elsewhere as well as in Hawaii. But he wasn't someone who just thought that you could look it up. He would think about the law, and he would think about the practical implications of a decision. And I think that's part of what makes a great judge. Just over the course of his career, he's, uh, I think, had a great impact on hundreds and hundreds of people. And, you know, ultimately, uh, after the decisions have been forgotten and the cases have faded into memory, the impact he's had on people's lives, I think, will probably be his most profound and lasting legacy. Yeah, pretty, very, very amazing man. Yeah.